welcome to Horrorverse. My name is Cody Hawk and today we're going to be discussing the 2004 remake of the George A. Romero Dawn of the Dead. Now I just watched this about two days ago so I prepared for the review and I wrote down a few notes here on this uh, notepad that I'm going to talk about. A lot of it's spoiler stuff so in this video we may or may not get into spoilers. It just depends on how in depth I want to go with this review. But we'll go ahead and get started. So one thing I did not know until rewatching this time is who helped make this movie. So Zack Snyder directed this movie, which I had no idea about. And if I did, I didn't remember it. So then also I didn't know this, but the screenplay was actually made by James Gunn. Now I did not look and see if it's the same James Gunn that did Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm assuming it is because it's the same spelling. So that's pretty impressive. Um, I mean, I don't know at the time what James Gunn was known for. I don't. I didn't know much about him until he got into the Guardians movies. But I know Zack Snyder had done, by this point, I think 300 already came out. Because this was in 2004, so I'm pretty sure 300 came out. So, to get him to direct it, that's pretty awesome in my opinion. Um, some of his other movies I'm not a big fan of, but 300 I enjoyed. And a few other, other ones that we're not going to discuss right now. But anyways, so I really enjoy this zombie movie. I think it's one of the better ones. Um... Now it's been a very long time since I watched the original. Um, I know it came out in 1978 and I have watched it. I've watched it a few times and I do remember I did like it but I cannot remember enough about it to discuss it so I'm not going to do a comparison between these two. If you guys want to see that um, I can rewatch the original one and then watch this one again and do a comparison, a side-by-side -side comparison if you guys want to see that. But today we're just going to discuss the remake solely. So like I said, I got a couple notes here I want to discuss. So the big cast in this movie was um, Sarah Polly, which before this movie, I'd never heard of her. I don't know of anything else she's been in. And if she has been in something I've watched, I don't remember it. I don't remember her. But she did a really good job. I really enjoyed her acting. Um, I feel like out of all the characters, she got the most backstory because since she was there's a main group of characters, but she was the main character in the movie, so we actually saw her a little bit, even if it was only a couple hours, um, a little bit of her life before the apocalypse happened, the zombie apocalypse happened. So that was neat, being able to see her backstory a little bit. Not a lot, but enough for you to care about her and for you to want her to live. So that's pretty cool. Um, the next person we see... Excuse me. The next person we see was... Vin Grames, which was in my last zombie review, Day of the Dead. And considering he's in both of those two, this is a big <laughs> jump up, in my opinion. Because this movie, compared to Day of the Dead, they're not even in the same category of movies or zombie movies, any way you want to look at it. This movie is by far superior in every possible way. Uh, looks, graphics, CGI, makeup, character, acting... Everything is better than, than they did, in my opinion. So, for him to do this one, I don't remember, I know I said it in the video, um, but I don't remember when Day of the Dead came out now, after doing the video. But I think it's after this one, so he kind of went downhill, which it could have been, you know, he just wanted to do, be in some George Romero movies, maybe, and he thought that one would be as good as this one, which it wasn't. Um, which it could it could have been. I think the main problem with that movie was a lot of the casting choices, the budget, and I mean the people that did that movie were a bunch of no names, like directing wise and screenplays. As far as I know, besides George Romero, so that's a problem. Um, next we see Mackay Pfeiffer and Jake Weber. Now Mackay Pfeiffer I've seen in a few movies, and I do enjoy him. Um, I do feel like most of these characters in this movie that are known um, really kind of disappeared from what I see. I don't see them in anything anymore. Um, so, I mean, like I said, I mean, it's not a big name cast. I mean, then Rames and Mackay Five for the biggest names. And I don't see them in anything else anymore. Um, but so I had him and Jake Weber. And Jake Weber, I have never seen in the movie, to my knowledge, until this movie. Um, but he did a great job. I mean, all four of these actors did great. I mean, for what they were given, like the character they were told to get, because some of them, I don't like Mikhail Pfeiffer's character towards the end, but I mean, that's what they wanted him to do, and he did it, and I mean, he did a good job at it. It's just his character kind of sucks <laughs> towards the end. He causes some deaths, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, another thing I want to talk about 
is it's a relatively long movie for a zombie movie. Usually, you know, they are about the right at the 90 minute runtime. You know, 90 minutes, 93 minutes. Um, this one was actually 100 minutes, which, you know, isn't far off from two hours. And I feel like there's about 10 or 15 minutes, about uh, two thirds of the way in, that could have been cut. They wouldn't have made the movie any worse or better. Like it didn't really, it was just filler, filler movie, I guess. Um, you see, it's kind of like a montage of seeing all the characters, what they're doing to pass their time. And I don't feel like it was necessary in the way they did it. I mean, if they wanted to show them do, each doing certain things, that's fine. But the way it was done, I don't feel like there's a reason for it. I feel like it was just filler to extend the runtime, to be a little bit longer, to pass that average 90 minute runtime. But, you know, but it didn't ruin it. Like them adding in there didn't ruin the movie. It didn't make, like the part wasn't necessarily boring. It was just unnecessary in my opinion. But like I said, it didn't make it worse. I didn't mind watching it. Um, all right guys, I'm sorry about that my camera. I don't know what it did. But anyways, let's get back to what I was saying. So. Basically, normal zombie apocalypse, as you see in almost every other movie, except for a couple excluded from that, and they decide to go to a mall. And that's the main, I mean, story. It's not a very complicated story. Um, and it kind of just shows them surviving, showing, you know, what you would do in that situation where you're stuck inside of a building, and if you go outside, you could possibly die. So that sucks. Um, the, and like I said, I mean, the story doesn't sound very complicated, I guess, you know, like very in-depth story, but it's still good. It still does exactly what you would expect it to do. Um, so after, since I've, after discussing that, we'll go into the way the zombies look. The zombies look great. Um, there's only one scene where there's CGI, and I think, like I said, I'm going to try to not do any spoilers in this, so I'm not going to talk about what it is, but there's one scene that I, I know at least part of it's CGI, and the part that is sucks. Um, but the plus side is it's not... I mean, it's only about a 30 second scene and it doesn't ruin it. Like I said, I mean, it's just bad CGI, which I mean, I guess they probably didn't want to spend a lot of money for a 30 second scene. So it's not a big deal. Um, besides that though, every other zombie looked great. Um, they're kind of a mix between the super fast, like World War Z zombie and the original Night Living Dead zombie. They're kind of in the middle of that with speed. They're relatively fast, they're pretty quick. Um, and they can jump really fast, I guess. Like at one point, they um, knock a zombie down and she can like spider jump up, which is whatever. Um, but, <coughs> excuse me. So besides that, another thing I'll just talk about is one of the characters, which I did not think to look up his name before I did this video, his, uh, his real name. But I've seen him in a few other things. And in the movie, he's amazing. He is my favorite character, hands down. And when you first see him, he's a dick. Like, you want him to die. Like, you want him to be one of the few people in this group that dies. You don't you don't care about it. Um, but as the movie progresses, you get a little more character development. And he ends up being more, the best character in the movie for me. My favorite character, hands down. Everything about him, he was a smart ass, which I liked. Um, he sacrificed, you know, he was willing to sacrifice to help people and save people and stuff like that. So that was amazing. Um, another thing this movie did, which... A lot of zombie movies do do, do do, um, they do, is no one knows what a zombie is. So they keep asking, what are these creatures? What are they? Are they dead? Are they alive? How do you kill them? You know, stuff like that. Which in a real life scenario, I mean, obviously it's not going to happen. I mean, wouldn't think it could, but if zombies happened, you're going to know to shoot them in the head. I mean, you could not even like zombie movies, ever watch a zombie movie, but you know what a zombie is, and you know in the movies they shoot him in the head, and that's what kills them. So that's one thing I wish a lot of these movies would quit doing, is pretending like there was never a zombie movie in this universe, because that's ridiculous, and it's dumb. I, you know there was, would be, and it makes no sense for there not to be. And with some of the exceptions of some movies that are classified as a zombie movie, but they're not necessarily zombies, like in... Um, 28 days later, they're not really zombies. In that movie, they're still kind of alive. They just have rabies, pretty much. But in most, you know, 90% of the movies, they're zombies. They're dead, or they, you know, they were killed, or they were dead. They came back alive. Shoot them in the head. Um, I'm trying to think. We'll see what else is there here. Um, I mean, that's mostly it, honestly. Um, for a brief rundown of just different parts of the movie that I enjoyed and didn't enjoy. For the most part, I would say 95% of this movie I did enjoy. 
Um, like I said, besides the, the CGI part, which like I said, is a very minimal, minimal part of the movie, didn't like ruin it for me, didn't be like, oh man, I hate this movie. It was still good. That affected nothing in my opinion. So overall, the movie is fantastic. Um, like I said, if you guys want me to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the original, I can do that because I don't remember the original to say if this one's better, if that one's better. But overall, I think this movie was fantastic for what it is. So I'll do my usual with this one. I'm going to do what I did in the past couple of videos, a side-by-side -side scoring. One scoring for just overall movie performance and one scoring for like a zombie movie performance. So for overall performance, like I said, the cast did great. The script was good. It looked good because they didn't have to worry about CGI. And I mean, it's all for the most part condensed in one small-ish area. Um, so for a normal movie, it's a solid seven. I would give seven out of 10 for overall movie performance with the acting, the screenplay, quality, stuff like that. And then for zombie, I'm gonna go for an eight, just slightly below Zombie Land, which is my previous review. Um, now, I mean, honestly, you could switch either one of these movies out. You could switch this to a nine and Zombieland for an eight, personally. It just depends on what you're looking for in a zombie movie, because this was a more serious, real, uh, I don't know if you go realistic, but a serious toned zombie buffalo's movie, whereas Zombieland was serious to an extent, but it was also had added the comedy in as kind of almost a parody, but not. So, I mean, so, I mean, you could, some, you could say this one's also a nine if you wanted to go that route. But me, personally, I enjoyed this movie a little bit less than Zombieland. So that is my review for the 2004 Dawn of the Dead. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later.